Alright guys, welcome back. Okay, so we're moving on to the quarterfinals now in the Ultimate Fighter. Let's see who we're against. Dillian Poole. He's a freestyle wrestler. So I probably want to stay away from the ground game against this guy. Yep. He's 5-0. and oh, Undefeated. So we got to do some training before we start. So we're gonna do some footwork. So we need to score well to get as many points as we can. Don't stand in front of him. Cut your angles. He's actually hit me with all these. It's hard to predict when he's gonna swing at you, you know? Maybe if I constantly bob and weave like this. Nah, that's not working. Good work. Keep that head moving. Nice slip. There's like a rhythm to it. The striking pattern. Nice, we've got a black belt. So I'm hoping that black belt must mean that we got the most points we can get. Today we're gonna drill the tie clutch. Make sure your elbows are in nice and tight, pinched on his collarbone. Okay, so these are just drills. It's not actual sparring or anything. Just um, following the instructions. I'm wondering if these are going to get difficult in the future. That's, a, oof, that's the wrong button there. At the moment, they're pretty basic and simple to achieve. You see, like, I've still got like over 30 seconds left, and I've got way past halfway points on the actual combos required to on button. <laughs> Whenever I start talking about how easy something is, that's when I start making mistakes. You know, it's hard to do these combinations, like fingers, two things at the same time. Another black belt. Next, blocking. I think there's three mini games per in between each fight. It looks like for training. So we're parrying. I think that's it. I skipped that pretty quick. Oh god, I'm pressing the wrong side every time. Oh, again. Okay. I tend to only parry head strikes in this game because you know. I don't want to get hit hard in the head, but I don't mind getting taking a body shot here and there. So if I can kind of predict that the fight is going to be throwing head strikes because he's like in the middle of doing a combo, that's when I'll try and parry. I won't constantly be trying to parry if, if I'm not sure what he's going to be trying to do to me. I will be doing um, just hold and block to make sure I take as little damage as possible. I suppose if you've got really good reaction time, you can actually see them throw it. Nice black belt again. Ah, okay, see, so look at that one where we got striking. We got 96 points for that. So I wonder if you can get more points than 35 for like movement. That's a bit of a bit, big point difference. Alright, so we can have a guy attributes again or moves. Uh, I'm actually thinking maybe attributes are better. Of submissions, you can pay your submissions and the setting ground transitions. What are the ground transitions? Rubber guard. Oh, I've never seen that before. Dominus and guard to stack guard. Yeah, I tried doing that before. I didn't, ha couldn't do it. I've got a half guard to mount. He's got a crucifix, side saddle, and submissive back mount to half guard. Oh, that's when you're on the bottom. It's not loads. I, I did that before. I thought I had that. Side control submissive to dominant. These are quite good actually to get, maybe, if I'm planning on fighting on the ground. But also, let's see. I want to maybe get a new leg kick. Power leg kick. That looks good. A Jose Ardo leg kick. I don't think you can go wrong with that, can you? Yeah, let's do that. That'll be better than um Do I have to bind it to anything? I suppose it just replaces my right kick, which is a good thing. Alright, oh shit. I meant to put some points into my attributes. I pressed back too many times. Alright, we'll do it next time after the next fight. Can we still spend points? Let me just check. Options. Yeah, attributes. There we go. So I've got 70 points to spend. 
I'm going to work on, like, upper body, I mean, stand-up game. Oh, you can't spend many points, can you? Whoa, it's going to take some a long time to get these up. Because already they're costing, like, 50 points to go one level. And it's not even anywhere near the top. I think important things are blocking. If you plan on doing kicks, obviously kick stuff. But punching's really important. Ground control. Uh, that's, you know, if you're getting taken down, you can't get up. You know, it's kind of important to get up. Alright, that'll do for now. Yep, save the changes. Alright, let's move on to the next fight, the quarterfinals. Don't, 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 don't. What's, what are these abilities? Are these my actual attacks? Okay, abilities are learned when you level up the character. These abilities can then be placed in the game plan of your fighter. Huh, so you make game plans. Oh shit, okay, that looks complicated. They must give you buffs or something. Because otherwise, you know, game plans in a game. You're not part of a team in a game as much as you are in real life. So It probably just means if you stand up, you do more damage or something like that. Uh, it's just all stat stuff. Okay, let's get out of this. How do you get out? Options again. Right, let's go to the fight. You know, every season you get guys that you look at, and this guy could be pretty good. There's about four guys here that I really like and, and think have some serious potential. Am I one of those four guys? <laughs> Alright, so the opponent is a freestyle wrestler. So he's probably going to be wanting to take us down a lot. So be cautious to take downs, you know, get prepared to defend against them. At the moment, fighting off from back is not a good thing to do in this game because obviously I've got no skills on the back. All right, guys, this fight is two five-minute rounds. At the end of the second round, the judges declare it a draw. We go to sudden victory. The winner of that round wins the fight. Good luck. Okay. Are you ready to fight? Are you ready? So it is two rounds, unless then it goes to sudden victory if it's a draw. Alright, so I got a new leg kick, didn't I? I don't. That's not it. <laughs> the page is there and it's not doing it. Maybe you have to press a button. Nope. Okay, I'm getting this guy quite well with head strikes. Parrying is, seems to do a lot of damage, you know, when you parry and then counter attack. Quite often you get a ch good chance to rock them with that. Yes, defended it, nice. I need some power punches. I need to figure out as well how to um, enable that strike that I purchased. Oh, stamina's low. Let's just take him down to recover and we'll probably get back up. At least one side control. Okay, if he tries to... Well, we're just going to hold him for a sec. Okay, so he's turned over. Let's, let's just get up. My head should have recovered by the time he comes up. Oh, yeah, it's recovered. Why has my stance changed? The reason why I got rocked there is because my stamina was so low and he blocks the crap then. Did some clinch work as soon as he started it. Let's get out of this. Yes. I want to get some distance so I can switch my stance back to um, Southpaw, south is it? I get confused on which side's which. Orthodox. <laughs> right, this guy's dice stamina is quite low now. Just hail some blows on him. Stunned. Ah, I was too slow on the defense. I got too um, aggressive. Let's try and stand up straight away. Nice, we got up. That's cool. Okay, so he's still got his head hit. He's down. Let's see if we can finish him. We got him. Nice, TKO. That was my best um, option there, I think, was to try and get up as quick as possible while his head was still hurt. And then drop him again and have me on top. Otherwise, trying to get me on top. 
when he's on side control <laughs> with the skill set I've got at the moment would have been a, a difficult task. Surely I'm part of those four guys that Dana thinks is really good now. You know, two TKOs and a submission. That was a nice quick fight. He doesn't, he doesn't say my name. He just goes, the winner is... Peter Arman here. I'm sure my nickname is Mountain. I don't know whether or not... You probably don't say it in... Maybe only Bruce Buffer says it when you actually get into the UFC. Because you could pick a surname as well, that they would say. But my surname wasn't in the game. The closest thing to it was Kelly. No, my surname's Kerrigan. It's not. <laughs> so it's the semis next, and then we move on to the ultimate finale, where we actually fight under the UFC banner. Okay, let's see who we're fighting for the semi-finals. Fighting Min... Min Fang. Okay. Yeah, he's a mixed martial artist, so he's good everywhere. His weakest points are stand-up, so he's only got 66 points in that. So we'll probably stick with the same game plans we did last fight. Just stay on the feet until we either need to take him down because we're taking damage, or we're going to finish him on the ground. All right, let's do some training. All right, guys, the four of you that are in the semifinals, congratulations. And for everybody here, unbelievable season, unbelievable fights. It's been fantastic. I wonder if that little bit from Dana talking there is taken from an actual season, or they recorded it just for the game. All right, we're doing clinch work. Drill, clinch strikes. I want you to get in tight on this guy and really start to work your combos. I think in this as well, you'd think that training clings like this would actually increase my clinch attributes, but it just gives me points, which is strange. Because in a lot of these, oh god, wrong button. Because in a lot of these games, you normally pick something to train. Say like you want to inc increase your punch power. You train boxing, but in this, it just it picks the mini games for you, and then however well you do, that's how many points you get to spend in whatever you want. Alright, and we're done. At least the games are to think of difference each time. There's no strength and conditioning like type training, it's all like drills. Alright, clinch. So we're just gonna get in the clinch and just keep transitioning. We get points every time we transition. Now let him go. Oh, I, I didn't realise that was actually telling me to aim. Uh, I was just spamming it. <laughs> there we go. You're in full control right now. Oh crap. Yeah, I did did it too quick again. Set up the clinch. Perfect position. Yeah, now I have to separate because I was meant to be in the last position there to separate that. Great job. Saw excellent power out of him. That's what I wanted. Getting ahead of myself. Alright, so there was two game two aim um, training games where you actually have to follow commands. So really stay sharp it's the only points we get for them. So we're defending submissions. So it's just defending submissions free. So each time it must get harder. Okay, so we're trying to get out of this. I just tend to go one to another. You know, as soon as he blocks me, you go to another one. Because if you're trying to fill out more than two gates, you know, you're never going to reach the end of one. By the time he improves the, the submission, you reset anyway. Yeah, so uh, 96 on striking, 36, yeah. It's strange how you get so many on the striking game. Okay, so we've got some points to spend again. Let's get some knockout power in the right punch. I, I'm, I really want to get some good speed on my punches. So I can get in and out quick with jabs and that, you know. Uh, I can't even upgrade. How can you? The punch speed is 60. It costs like 11 points to spend. Right leg power. I can't put any points into it. It's 44. It's like a lot lower than. Strange. Let's do some blocking. Alright, we've got 4 points to spend. I'm just going to go to the moves again and see that kick that I believe we purchased. How do you equip it? That's a leg kick, right? Yeah, leg kicks are just normally stand still and press the kick button. Just 
before we move on to the next fight, I'm going to see if there's a menu where you can go on to, like, equip moves. Um, before we advance quickly. Ah, moves. There we go. Maybe this is where we equip it. Editing your moves. Yeah, you can purchase new moves. You get evolution points when you have to purchase new moves. And then a Sam to your fight's moves, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So it was a kick, wasn't it? So that's because of kicks. Looking for circle leg kick. So I don't, some of these attacks don't actually have anything bound to them. So we've got loads of things we can purchase. Oblique leg kick. Yeah, I don't want that. Ah, you can actually chain... Oh, the fuck? I can make circle a left roundhouse. You can make it a left kick? It's crazy. I thought it'd just be like your right limb. You can only do things like that. Hey, well, that's what we've got anyway. Power leg kick. Gonna wreck some legs with that. Actually, I haven't really upgraded my leg and kick, my kick and power that much in stats. So maybe we should focus on that. I think maybe speed, maybe right hand and right kick. Because that you, if you're that you know left hand forward, you're normally dominant with your your right legs and kick hands, aren't you? All right, let's progress to this next fight. So no matter how long you've been in the sport, what you think you know about fighting. You never know who the toughest guys are until you end up right here. This is a very exciting semi-final matchup. Okay, so we win this fight and we move on to the Ultimate Fighter. I wonder if you lose, like, what happens? Maybe you can still fight in the UFC, but, like, you know, you get picked to fight still, but you don't actually get to win the competition, obviously. Maybe someone gets injured and you get fit fill in for them. That'd be cool. All right, guys, this is it. This fight is three five-minute rounds. The winner of this fight moves on to the live finale. Good luck. Are you ready to fight? Are you ready to fight? Come on, let's fight. Let's get this guy. Oh, oh, he missed. He dodged my power kick. Try and parry it. There we go. It starts off with a little combo. I like to start combos off with like a parry and then just go nuts with the power hooks. For like maybe three strikes, just then regain stamina. Hopefully try and get, get him next time. Uh, he likes the body kicks, doesn't he? What was oh he was a MMA fighter wasn't he that was his style so he's like good all around I think yeah his his weakest point was um oh, I couldn't even defend that let's get up uh, my reach is too short. Take him down. Maybe get in the mount. That was the wrong way anyway. It's good job we blocked that. There we go. Mount. Oh, this guy's got good um, control. I was like holding block before he even did that, I think. I couldn't stop him. I definitely need some speed to get on the inside quicker. I'm gonna try and get some stamina. He's rocking me there. Shit. Uh, good job, I noticed that. Yeah, no way I was like stopping that because uh, my stamina was low already. Oh my god, you can't stop that. That's crazy. Definitely stop that one, yeah. I'll stay on top until my head damage gets low again. Gets up even. I'll stand me up. Oh, they stand someone up on the mount. Maybe because I wasn't postured up. 
I should do some posture and strikes more, but my stamina's not good enough to maintain it. Here we go, rocked him. He didn't do much damage though, even though like, I landed like three hooks. Nope. I think the fact that I was actually throwing a kick there when he initiated the takedown was what caught me there. Let's get up. Ah, oh, I can't get up. Try and move into a better position then. Let's get up. Yep. I think maybe when you push it up as well, it's harder to defend someone's transition when they're trying to escape. So if you can try and attempt the transition or a, a get up when they push it up, you know, you've got a better chance of executing it. I'm probably going to actually increase the acceleration of the clock as well, if you can, in career mode. I don't know if you can. Oh, he's rocked. He's actually here as well. We got him. Nice! TKO. Again. I want to get like a proper knockout, where he goes out from the feet, you know? I love them hooks. You hold L1 and posture up. And just spam it. He tried to throw a strike at me. Why would you do that? You know, you've just been knocked down, your head's shaking, and you're trying to punch someone when they're mounting you. Okay, I'm in the final. I wonder if it's someone else from my team in the final. Not that I know anyone. What do these levels mean? Okay, so we're in the ultimate fight of finale. That's cool. That guy won the second round by submission. So we're fighting Richmond. What pick was he? Was he number one? I can't remember. Oh, did, okay, wait there. Can I get to that screen again? I can. I think it's got a number next to them. No, it hasn't. I've just seen things. Yeah, okay, it's good. Let's continue. I'm probably going to end this part here. There might be a cinematic we can watch before we finish it off. But before we actually head into the actual Ultimate Fighter finale, we'll start the next part there with some training, probably. Congratulations, you made it into the finale. I knew you would. Nice work. Don't get too cocky. You beat up some tough guys, but the toughest one is waiting. Keep your focus. Let's get you back home, back in the gym, and right back to work. Congratulations, dude. You're right here. You made it to the finals. Make sure that you stay focused coming into this last one. This is the most important. This is for all the stakes. Sleep well, eat good, and kick some butt. I don't have control of my diets and sleeping patterns in this game, though. So that's pointless advice. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching. So we're gonna head to the next um, the Ultimate Fighter finale for the next fight, so I'll see you guys there.